tour of the keyword analysis page that visualizes short tail and long tail keyword data. Here is a pie chart with unadjusted ring width. This is going to be a time series chart when it loads. We have a table and then a scatter chart. Let's get started with the pie chart. You'll click add a chart chart. Data source is going to be your search console site impressions. Dimension will need to update to be the keyword type that is separating short tail and long tail for our report. Metric, um, you can have this measuring clicks or impressions, whichever you uh, choose, or you can even add both by adding a little slider there. We will sort by our whatever our primary metric is, which is clicks. Default date range will remain as auto. This allows the data to automatically update when you change your date range filter. And then we're going to slide over to style on our right hand navigation. And you can adjust the width with this control here. You can select single color, slice order, or dimension values, however you want that to look, and adjust the width. And then down here at the bottom is where it's going to control your legend. So if you want that to be on the right hand side of your graph, the bottom um, not available on top and then the chart header you want to make sure that that's either always show or show on hover so that you have access to it um, when you want to change your metric and then that'll pop up when you roll over it or hover over it that's our time series chart or that's our pie chart our time series chart is the same as the organic overview video in this SEO dashboard series. So I'll link to that video at the end of this one here. But this table is also the same as the brand first generic table in our series. So the new chart we're adding is this one, our scatter chart, and that's the next visual I'm going to show you today. Go to add a chart, come down here to scatter, place that on your dashboard where you would like, Data source is going to remain the Search Console site impressions. To mention, we are charting keywords here, um, so we need to update our dimension to query, and then we will create a filter in just a moment that'll tell it which type of query we want to display. Metric X is going to show along the horizontal line. We want this to be average position. Metric Y along the vertical line is impressions. Bubble size, we're going to go off of clicks. We want to know which keywords and which position is getting the most clicks. Sort by clicks. And the default date range should stay at auto, so it auto updates with your date range control. Now a filter to create a, a scatter chart filter in order to just show the short tail or long tail keywords, we need to add a filter to our chart. So go ahead and click add a filter, create a filter, whatever you would like to name that, maybe short tail keywords, um, include because we only want to see the data that exactly matches our keyword type. Select a field is going to be keyword type. I think for this one we have a name sample keyword type. Condition is going to be contains. Oh, I'm sorry, this is probably regular expression match. And then we will name this short tail keywords. Save. 
move on over to style. So we need to adjust the number of bubbles and the size of the bubble and what color we want the bubble to be or what we want to determine the bubble color. So we're going to change this to maybe five. We'll change the color to something that fits our report. Bubble color is going to match off of the query. There it is. So the x-axis is measuring our average position and that starts at 1. So we need to adjust the axis minimum to 1. Now to save time, you can just copy and paste your short tail keyword section and add or adjust the filter to um, be long tail keywords. That'll save you some time when you're completing your keywords analysis page on the SEO dashboard. Next up is sorting keyword data by page rankings.